This is third grade Go Math Lesson 2.1, and today we're going to be working on problem solving and organizing data. Um, at the very top it says use the favorite school subject tables for number one through four. So you see um, at the top we have a favorite school subject, at the bottom we have another table that says favorite school subject. Everything is the same about these except this is counting tallies and this has numbers. Um, as you see, two of them have already been filled in. So we're just going to go ahead and fill the rest of it in. You see there's five science. We'll place five here. Five plus five plus two more is 12 for social studies. So this is looking at the top, trying to fill in for math. Five plus five plus one is 11. Uh, language arts, that's five plus two, which would be seven. And for reading, we have five plus four, which would be nine. So then we're going to come back over here and read direction for number one. The students uh, in two third grade classes recorded their favorite school subject. The data are in the table, tally table. How many fewer students chose science than chose social studies as their favorite subject? Think. Use the data in the table to record the data in the frequency table, uh, then uh, solve the problem. So we have, uh, it's kind of more mapped out for you on number one. So they give you space for social studies. There's 12 students, as we showed before, and five for science. So they place those numbers in there. Remember, we had to find out how many fewer students chose science. So the science is on the bottom, it's a smaller number. So 12 minus five, to find the difference, would be seven students, seven, seven fewer students chose science. So uh, we go continue on down. Number two, what subject did least or the smallest number of students choose? And that would be science. So science is another one of the answers. There we go. Number three, how many more students chose math than language arts as their favorite subject? I'll go ahead and look how many chose math. 11 and seven chose language arts. So 11 students for math and seven chose for language arts 11 minus 7 i know is four okay and then we have one more uh, problem on the bottom suppose three students changed their votes from math to science describe how the frequency table would change so three students going from math so if i take away three that would equal eight that would be my new number and then I'd be adding those three students to math. I'm sorry, change, I'm adding those three students to science, I'm sorry. So I took away three, now I'm adding three. And now there are eight students. So if I was just to write, describe how the frequency table would change, um, I would now, now I could say that the same number of students now have chosen math and science and there that is that so um, that is how we problem solve and organize data.